new videos every day. I was thinking this probably seems kind of weird to people and and I don't know how weird this seems. Does anybody else here eat bugs regularly? Okay, that's your nobody eats bugs regularly. Has anybody ever eaten bugs? Two, three, okay, four, five, a good, a good little percentage of it. Okay, so we're still weird. Okay, we're still weird until everybody else starts eating bugs, then we're not going to be weird anymore, right? It seems like anytime something comes along that's new, and it's new to the Western world right now, it's considered really, really weird. You know, people that thought the earth was round were really, really weird. All my heroes were really, really weird people. You know, they did really weird things that changed the world, you know. So I used to kind of worry about being weird. And then I started thinking, well, everybody's really kind of weird, aren't they? You know, in their own little way. So I'm just always telling everybody, hey, latch on to your weirdness and run with it, you know, because the world, the world needs a lot of weird people to solve a lot of weird problems right now. And part of this insect thing, it's about fun, really. It's about fun. It's, we're not starving to death. We don't have to do this today. I would much rather leave these wasps on my front porch or out in the barn where they're gonna be controlling mosquitoes. You know, I used to stand and watch a yellow jacket nest and those guys would fly off. They'd send out a scout. He'd grab a mosquito out of the air, bring it back in. They rip it up between them and it's gone in a bite, you know. So they're doing that all, and these are all beneficial insects. They're, they're feeding the whole food chain. This year it's been so droughted, it's been hard to find a lot of bugs to eat. So the rule is you eat whatever's out there, you know, if you know it's, so that's what we brought a lot of today is what's out there right now at this time of the year. I found out I wasn't weird when I found out that the United Nations, and this is coming out of Rome now, right? The United Nations, Forestry, forestry Department program sent out kind of a this major bleep out to the world last year and said, hey, everybody, we need to get these markets going in all nations. We need to revive in the nations that have stopped eating so many insects as a, not their primary source of food, but as an important supplementary part of their diet. We were all eating bugs at the start. Then we started growing food and some vegetables and raising a few wild animals, domesticating some animals. We were still eating bugs then. And it's continued for, what, tens, tens of thousands of years up until today where a lot of those people are still eating bugs that need that as a necessary part of their diet. And it's an important money-making adventure for a lot of those people in those parts of the world where they don't have any economy. Well, the, the forestry department here, they're promoting new liaisons between private and government agencies to get new research started. They need new ways to farm insects on large scale. They're using insect to, insects to process tons and hundreds and thousands of tons of manures to turn those larvae that digested that, the larvae of the soldier fly, to take them to feed the livestock, to feed the fish. It only takes a fraction of the amount of food to raise a pound of grasshoppers or a pound of crickets uh, or a pound of mealworms. It takes a fraction of the grass, of the, you know, whatever it is they're eating, garbage, wastes. It takes about a sixth to a fourth of the feed that it takes to produce a pound of protein out of insects. The World Health Organization's looking at this. They're saying, there's a shortage coming up. There's not gonna be enough food. We need to tap our resources here. And insects have always been an important part of that. So that their plan is to get the word out they haven't talked to me yet, but to get the word out, to talk to people, to, for, for a new whole paradigm to be presented around the world of consuming insects of, as food, that our attitudes need to shift, that it needs to be a prized food rather than something that we, was taught, we were taught was dirty or yucky or inedible or in many cases harmful. Um, so anyway, they're, they're talking about big business here. There's a lot of opportunity. I don't like killing bugs. I don't kill bugs for any unnecessary reason or to do one of these shows or if I'm out somewhere and I'm hungry. Um, I, I appreciate 
every living thing. Every living thing is full of that same life that I am. And I'd much rather look them in the eyes and communicate with them. And, you know, and there's a whole world of that about, you know, that, that how, how our relationship with nature could be.